Yeah. So recently I've had to downgrade my studio just a little bit more so in space and availability. I really can't wait to get my own kind of space again where I can record people more and, and do that sort of thing. But as I sat here in my studio that I have now, my, my little personal home studio, I wanted to pick back up this project that I had thought of and wanted to do called WCWW uh, after my Lakota name. And then going back to those roots, kind of felt like that in downgrading the studio. So I figured, yeah, back at it. And I'm tossing out the Chun-Li Couldn't get on one knee Back from the res feeling lovely Rapping since I was sporting onesies Off to another show in mini Lose a high, you better come see The nobody's never rusty Just dusty because the gravel road Loves me crushing Attention everyone This is not a test So it's a Thursday uh, It's actually going on towards like four Every time I'm like cruising like this, especially alone, I just go through everything I'm working on, every album, every everything I'm like pretty much just obsessing over. I'm finding myself now on pretty much the same old roads I grew up on. But now, you know, it's nice to be on these roads and I'm behind the wheel. And like, it's for things that are positive and not so self-centered but that served me as well so it's cool man like to work on the albums and stuff while i do this it, it keeps me in that perspective especially this album like i didn't expect it to be like this but the more i've worked on this thing the more it's just become me in a different way and that's all i could ever hope for Picture us, flat broke with just us, George Custer or John Wayne couldn't touch us, fuck love. I gave my soul to the tribe while the situation's homemade, children become plugs that everybody talks of, talkers wanna walk up, say they know the whole story but not us, they not tough. Tails between their legs, seen them beg for a flower word. Writing about Taryn is kind of natural. He just springs up and, you know, it's like, it's kind of bittersweet, you know. It, it's like, look at this beautiful warrior I get to shout out in my song and have behind me in spirit. But at the same time, it is it is heart-wrenching to do it. In this album, it was more about, like, because he told me we, our last time in Eagle Butte, we were getting ready to go back and I just got my La Jota name um, and he was looking out at Eagle Butte we could see all of it from where we were and you know we have so many memories there good and bad a lot of crazy ass memories but a lot of it dealing with trauma and violence and other stuff but he told me and it, it, he didn't intimidate me in the sense of like scared of him, but intimidated me with like, he was on another level that I hadn't expected, you know, as an older brother, that he would be a past surpass me in something, in an understanding or a, usually he'd get mad at me, like, how come you know everything, you know? But this time he had me. He looks at me and he's like, you know, I know you got a lot of pain here, but it's not as bad as it was. The things change. They do change. And he's like, I've learned that you got to make better memories and change the place for yourself. No one else is going to create those new memories for you. And this is a beautiful place. Why would we ever loathe this place because of what people think of us or what happened here? Like, because this is our home. I was just stunned by that, you know? Mm -hmm. So like when I do songs like when I watch him, where I'm like, I wanna be free, I wanna be me, I wanna be everything we used to be. Me, I'm a Lakota, me, I'm a Got love for my 
the coldest That's why come see me be a soldier This is what you told me And it feels good Cause it's like I get to kind of Continue some of those messages he had As well as pay tribute and homage to him Because I don't want to just live off of his name That's the, the mere thought of that makes me not even want to write him in any songs anymore that someone would think that but at the same time I kind of I'm finding ways to do it meaningfully and purposefully to not use him as an excuse to like oh this is hardcore or you know this is badass or whatever but to use him as motivation to say the what I feel are the right things and to do what I feel is the right kind of music to do. So what you want to do, friend? I wanna be free, I wanna be me, I wanna be everything we used to be. Walking like I ain't afraid to try, ain't afraid to try, no. Walking like I ain't afraid to die, ain't afraid to die, no. Walking like I ain't afraid to fly in the vacant sky, no. Walking like I ain't ashamed to cry, walking in the ice storm. Probably still never take any rest day, test day, anxiety, to shunk about the rent pay. Headspace, like my brother used to say that, Taryn used to say that a lot because we had heard of older people like us say it and they'd say it's a hard but beautiful life so when I think about like music that I make I want it to represent me so it's like it's a hard but it's a beautiful life I want to try to bring music that represents for the gutter and the the chaos but that advocates for peace and for a sense of like i don't know if it's acceptance i don't think it's acceptance but when i make an album like this it's more about like not asking for acceptance but giving it no one else is going to give it so it's like i have to through my own way and this is like the only way i can Find that acceptance. To find and create new. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event of the evening. The following contest is a no rules match set for one fall with a 50 minute time limit or cassette tape time remaining. Introducing first. From Bad Nation, South Dakota, weighing in at 17 tracks, he's your favorite. 